specific ones I like. I, I just love that you guys love them, and, and we dig that. We, yeah. we love that you guys throw them together, and that's cool. One of the, probably the, well, one of the coolest things about, about watching this community grow is the creativity. The, the fan art, the cosplay, the fan fiction. One of the reasons I think a lot of us prefer to plead the fifth when it comes to our opinions on things like that is because we don't ever want to stifle the creativity that's coming from you guys. So much extraordinary fan art comes from your minds. So much extraordinary fan fiction comes from things you think, you know, the, the theories and all of that, that I, would, I don't think any of us would ever, ever, ever want to stifle that. So until something's canon, it's free reign. <laughs> Y'all put it out there. Next, blue. Yeah, you guys played a prank on me last night, didn't you? You told me to meet me at the bar at 10, I waited there for two hours, and you know, just... <laughs> Dude, you someone named about? Roadhog came along and we sat with him at the bar. <laughs> he lied us, we totally hung out last totally night. Yeah. Pranks? No, I think it's more about us enjoying being stupid together than necessarily playing pranks on each other. Like, we come up, we're like, oh my god, what do we do this thing? Oh my god, what do we do this thing? Let's do this thing. Let's do this stupid thing together. Let's be stupid. Um, so, rather than, although, well, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but the video he did with uh, Josh where he comes in with a loot box. With all the loot box. We, he just said, hey guys, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to give you some gifts, and you guys do what you, you want to do. And yeah. we're like, okay. And so it was literally just all yeah. improv, which was really fun, because Gip G's the bomb. And, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. So, you know, I think we just love improv and, and being ridiculous, yeah. so. Yeah. I agree. And it usually comes out of us naturally hanging out together and then watch the stupidity ensue. Oh, you know what was funny though? When we discovered Farah and we did her like oh, release right, right, video, right, right. Um, uh, Lucy Pole and I were like, okay, we're going to meet up with her. And, and so we decided to do this news thing where like, oh, we have discovered Farah, da, 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 breaking news. And so we're like, oh, let's pretend like it's this, you know, international thing, you know? All right, so, you know, you speak German, do German, I'll do Italian, da da da. Got all these languages. And then she goes, Mami, tami, lame, rakatami, rakatami, lame, lame, rakitami. And I'm like, she's making up a language. I really, I swear to God, I thought she was making up a language. And she's like, no, it's Greek. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> Lucy Paul speaks Greek. But I totally thought that she was, you know when you like gibberish make up a language? Like I'll do French and I'll be like, so I just thought she was doing that. And it was literally Greek. So yeah. anyway. Greek is a beautiful language, by yes. the way. Yes. Sounds great. One more question. This guy's had his hand up right here in the Kingdom March shirt. Yellow stripes. Um, whoops. I'm not the bomb. We'll do two. We'll do one. <laughs> okay. um, when you guys get on Overwatch, do you ever get on voice chat and troll your teammates? Yes. I'm not coordinated enough to do those two things at once. Uh, I got I got to focus on not walking off a cliff. I got basic expectations of myself. <laughs> it's true. I do all Tell the time. Tell us about it. Yeah. I'll do, oh, I'll, I'll be a Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but do you do your vote? We're all animals. The power of science. <laughs> all the low voice boys, I'd hop in, and I love it. I do the road hop, like, that's a really good voice changer. I'm like, I know, it's $6,000. <laughs> do you want to hear my Optimus Prime one? They're like, yeah. Like, mm, Autobot, stop by. Prepare for a <laughs> You're hysterical. I do. <laughs> I hope that I can get coordinated enough to play a different character, but then say, sifting up the go wash. And have to be like, where, the, where, where is she? Where's the room? Oh my god, where's the kill room? There's a kill room. But someday, that's, gonna, that's like advanced. Goals. We're going to get there someday. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag goals. <laughs> can we get one last yes, question from you? Yes, because you've had your hand up the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Right here. Um, so, Josh, I know we talked about this a little bit over there, but um, so Overwatch changes a lot, especially with every update. So, when there's big changes to each character, Specifically, your guys' character. Do you guys have like an attachment? Like Symmetra, I know they reworked her and they made her ridiculously awesome. So, like, do you guys feel awesome? <laughs> <laughs> when they get a huge buff or like when they get a nerf? Like, is that kind of nerf this? Right. Um, uh, I mean, it's off. Obviously, it's cool, but it's cool mostly because it's cool for the players more than for us. Like, we might have anything that is exciting for you guys is exciting for us. It, it really has very little to do with our own personal opinions as much as what you, because this whole game, the reason, that, I mean, this game is awesome in and of itself, but the reason it is as awesome as it is, is this community yes. ran with it. You guys grabbed onto it and just like, went from, you know, on a scale of one to 10, took it to a 342. You just like took everything and ran with it. So everything that excites you makes 
us more excited. Great answer. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, give it up for the love.